Since the beginning of time, I've discovered that a beautiful land can hide dark and deadly secrets. Traditions that have ruled tribes for generations. And superstitions that can threaten life itself. That day on my travels, I discovered more than a faraway land. Someone who was destined to change my life forever. <laughs> but she didn't seem too happy about it. For reasons I was soon to discover. She has returned? She will. You seem sure? Is she not my daughter? Fear not, Bazaar. She knows her duty and has the courage for it. And you, when the time comes? When the time comes, Bazaar, you will find the family of Two Tiger equal to the task. My map was a basic one. No one then had full knowledge of this part of the world. Everybody. I certainly didn't. Everybody. And I was not expecting to find a tribal village in this isolated corner of the land. The girl, Annika, whose life I had saved, insisted I meet her family. I followed with some trepidation. Father, the stranger bears the name of Jess. Why have you brought him here? No, you not, Bazaar. Custom demands it. He saved my life, and he has earned the generosity of my family. I was glad to hear it. This tribe didn't seem to be known for their welcome especially their chief. We thank you for Annika's life. Stay, eat with us, rest. But stay not too long, stranger. Our ways are our own, and beyond this valley, no one's concerned. What god brings you here, stranger called Jess? No god, just chance. I'm a traveler. I call no place my home. So you will have seen many things? Kalu, namapakte. No, 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 it's all right. Yeah, I have stories if you would like to hear. Another time, another day would be better. Oh, of course, my apologies. How long has she been ill? Since the birth of Pakatak. She will recover. In some ways, her illness is a blessing. Well, if there's any way I can help... It. No one can help. It has to be. Witsilupaki must be fed. It has always been so, and always will. Witsilupaki? This tribe still worships Witsilupaki. Does not everyone? Slopaki requires blood sacrifice. At this time, each year, the life is offered of a daughter of a family with two daughters or more. Pakatak is a girl child. So when will the sacrifice take place? Tomorrow before the sun goes down. Pakatak is not the chosen one. I am. As night fell, I couldn't stop thinking about what fate had in store for Annika. 
Would the dawn be her final day? Speak. I've come to plead for the life of Two Tigers' daughter, Annika. You would have the whole tribe die instead? No one need die. Who told you this? Two Tiger? His daughter? Someone in the tribe who? I know it. I do not sacrifice to Huitzilopochtli, and yet I still live. Fool. You live because I sacrificed to Huitzilopochtli. The sun god smiles on this world because I, his chosen, feed him. The people enjoy his warmth because I give him the red sacred water. And they appreciate it. If they wish to thank me, should I say no? I am their savior. But you are not Annika's savior. You know nothing. Leave this village while you can. I am losing a daughter. She is losing her life. Is that not bad enough? Do not try and tell us it is all for nothing. Well, how else can I make you understand? Jess, the only thing that makes this bearable is to know that my death will bring life to my tribe for another year. For two years I have traveled the land between the seas. And not once have I met another tribe that still worships Huitzilopochtli. Nowhere? What about the Aztecs? The Incas and the Toltecs? They are no more. Outside of those hills, no one gives blood sacrifice. And yet the same sun still rises each day. But who will prevent Bazal from killing her? Prevent the others from taking her? Even if what Jess says is true, no one will believe it. No one would dare to believe it. And I would rather die than bring shame upon my family for refusing. Yeah, but I've got a plan. You've just got to listen to me. I think we should... What's going on? Let me go! One, the stranger threatened us the lives of all of us. His arrival is not chance. He has been sent. He is a demon. The demon must die. That's okay. That's all his fault. Whistle needs no sacrifice. The stranger called Jess speaks of lands beyond this valley where no life is taken. Yet, the sun still sails the sky. The demon is a servant of Kuatakyu, the mother of Wichilapoki. Kuatakyu wants her son back. This one wants to stop the sacrifice which will make the sun god rise again. His poison has spread the two tiger. Sorry. Die well. We have spoken true. I will walk freely to the altar of Wichilapoki. Only when my father and the stranger have been freed. Harm them, and this day will see no sacrifice. I, the chosen one, have spoken before the people. 
Go back to Kuatekyu. Tell her her son is content. We feed him, and he thrives. Don't give up, Annika. Will we see him again? Banished from the village. What an indignity. What did I care about that now? With every pace I had taken away from the village, images of Annika, helpless, with no one to turn to, weighed heavy on my mind. And I knew I had to return. I had a vague plan, nothing certain. But I knew unless I did something, I'd never be able to live with myself. Where's your father? Walking somewhere. Yeah. What about Annika? In the readiness hut. There she prepares until her time. Why'd you come back? Well, I came to help. In what way? I've been thinking. If the sun rises tomorrow and the sacrifice hasn't taken place, well... It'll show that Vassal is false, yes. But then it is too late. Annika's guarded till the ceremony. I need to get to her. Maybe I can help. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Ready? Whenever you are. <laughs> the girls are natural. <laughs> she has talent bestowed upon her by weed syllabus. <laughs> 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 Annika, come quickly, whilst you can. What? Where? We've got to get out of the village and hide until the sun rises again. Bazal's prophecy will be shown to be false. I cannot. I give him my word before the people. Yeah, giving your word is one thing, but giving your life, entirely another. What if Bazal is right? Bazal is wrong. If he is, though, and I hide from the sacrifice and the sun god fails Bazal to Bazal is false. I know that. Your father knows that, and you know that. You have no need to die. But in the eyes of the people, yes, I have. When the sun rises tomorrow and you're still alive, that will be the end of all sacrifice. You've got to think about all the young girls' lives that you'll be saving. I think that did it for her. She realized she could save others, but only if she lived through it herself. Then you will help me? <laughs> His hands like chicken feet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you do it. This. All is well. The Chosen One must be made acceptable to Huitzilopochtli. Treachery! She is gone! A black curse on her! A black curse on her family! It is the work of the Pale Demon. She must be found. No time. No time! It must be done before Witzel of Pocky vanishes. Dabanate! Isame! Isame! El 
It'll be dark soon. Maybe you should sleep until it's all over. I'm not tired. Nor me. Jess? Yeah? Tell me about the other places you've traveled. There's been so many. Strange places, beautiful places. Lots of different people, possessions. This cloth, it's from across the sea. And this. <laughs> it's water from the lake. It's cool to look in glass. It's also from another land. If all goes well this night, I wish to see other lands. Who knows? Maybe one day you will. Jess! Annika! Bazal, he goes to make sacrifice! <laughs> Kalu, I thought you said that Annika was the only one. He's chosen another of the same bloodline. Pocket talk! Once more can two tiger be proud. One daughter may have brought him shame, but another has brought hope to our people. Not the child, not my baby. Me, take me. You will die for this, Mazel. I swear, today's sunset will also be a land. Can we not play for Pogata? No, Kalu, it's far too late for that. We've got to think of something else. Fast. Let you down, Erica. No. You did what you thought you had to. Thank you. What are you doing? What I have to do. She who hides. She who refuses Wichilapoki. She who would bring cold and hunger upon us. She who would be sacrificed instead of Pakatak. Too late. The child is condemned by your actions. How much sacred water is in my sister? Enough to fill a small bowl? Think you she's sacrificed enough for the great sun god? Or do you think nothing of insulting him with so little? Take me now. Or I go and leave you to face his anger. Don't you leave or else there'll be no one left to help. Free me. Bazaar is false. He helps not the sun god but himself. Cut my ropes, please. Fordia, Ego Claw, help me, please. Cut my ropes. Help me! Somebody help me! Right then, I was praying to my own god for inspiration. Rarely had I felt so helpless. I wondered if this was the way it was meant to be. Had I been trying to prevent something that had always been beyond my power to prevent? I knew this was an evil that had to be stopped. Sorrowful is the lament of the spirits. The hostile. They seek vengeance. Ocelot, I awoke. I could talk. Where is she? 
Why are you here like this? I, I will explain. Has been my baby, the children. Calm yourself. Everything will be all right. Oh, baby. Oh, my baby. Oh. Sacrifice? Annika. this so-called God as you stare into the face of death. <laughs> you have no God. You are godless. <clears throat> Not fit to die on a sacrificial table. Only fit to die. <clears throat> Sulupoki sails the sky, but no life has been taken. Which Sulupoki needs no sacrifice? The stranger called Jess has taught us that to kill is wrong. How therefore can we kill? Even one such as Bazal. The hard part had been convincing Two Tiger not to kill Bazal on the mountain. It was a pretty big leap from there to deciding no one should kill again. Two Tiger made it all by himself. You'll stay longer? Please? Yeah, maybe. And then what? I don't know. Over that hill is another land beyond the sea. Another life. <laughs> There's just so much more I want to see. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> <laughs> 